by Alex G. I've been dreading making this video for so long. It's got a couple of really difficult chords, and it has also this endless stream of chords that just goes on forever. It's fun to play, it's beautiful, but it's just so hard to keep track of. I drank so much electric light, electric lights, and drank a bunch of electric lights in preparation for this video. So I think I should be all set, right? Alex G tunes down a half step in the studio recording of this song. But when he does it live, it looks like he usually does it in standard tuning. So I feel like that's him giving us permission to do it in standard tuning here, just so we don't have to go through all the effort of tuning down. First chord, hardest chord in the song. Let's get it over with. Point our finger on the fifth fret of the A string. That's the second string from the top. Then, so your pointer finger's there, right? Right? If you, I, I say this all the time, but get the tip of your pointer finger to just touch the E string, to mute the E string. We don't want to hear it. I don't want to, I don't want to hear it. Then with your middle finger, play the seventh fret on the second to bottom string, the B string. Yeah, middle finger, not your ring finger, middle finger. And right now you're trying to play it and you're thinking, oh, he meant ring finger. He just messed up. He meant ring finger. No, your middle finger goes on the seventh fret of the B string, the second to bottom string. I'm serious. Then I'll explain why in, late when you're older. Okay. So then your pinky is going to play the ninth fret on the D string, the third string from the top. And then the worst part of this whole thing is your pointer finger has to smash down and bar the fifth fret on those high five strings. My thumb is way back, not just on the back of the neck, but it's on the lower part of the back of the neck so I can really get this good spread with my fingers. I'm spanning so many frets. It's like a 27 fret spread right here. It sounds like this. It's a beautiful chord. I, to me, this is like a very Elliott Smith-esque chord. Beautiful. Now, if, if you are out there thinking to yourself, oh, well, this first chord is impossible for me. I can't do it. So I'm just going to give up and I'm never going to play guitar again. Just play a D7 chord like this. It sounds almost the same. Second fret, first fret, second fret. If you play that one, it's going to sound almost as good. And it's about a I don't know, it's so much easier. I'm gonna do this one, cause I'm a cool kid. But you can go over to the little kid's table and play this version and that's gonna be just fine. You don't need to be embarrassed. It's like a weird D7 chord. It doesn't have a third, it has a ninth and a 13th. We're still gonna call it just a D7 though. So we got that chord. Then we go to a chord that's not quite as difficult. Your pointer finger is going to bar every string on the fifth fret, including the top string. So we weren't on the top string before, and now all six strings with your pointer finger on the fifth fret. Your middle finger plays the seventh fret on the A string, the second string from the top, and then your pinky comes down and plays the eighth fret on the B string, the second string from the bottom. That's like that. You're barring everything with your pointer finger. This one's tough. This one you gotta push pretty hard. Not as bad of a stretch, but it's really tough to get all that pressure with your middle finger. And then for the third chord, your ring finger comes up and plays the eighth fret on the E string, like that. Now, in the studio version, it sounds like he lets his pointer finger go and plays open strings. But when he plays it live, it looks like he normally keeps his pointer finger there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my pointer finger out of there to give it a little break. But you can do whatever floats your boat and then I'll float my boat later. First three chords are going to be, I have to remember, we've got that guy, then this guy. This is like an A minor right here. And then this one, this one's like a fancy C chord. Let's talk strumming. The strumming, let's do it on the C chord because that one's kind of easy to play. So we've got the eighth fret on the E string, Middle finger plays seven on the A string. You're gonna skip, skip, and then your pinky plays the eighth fret on the B string. That's our that's our fancy C chord. Here's what the strumming is gonna be. You're gonna go. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the top string. I'm playing the top couple strings. I'm just kind of doing a nice little strum. I'm aiming for the top string, but if I hit a couple extra, it's all good. Then a big strum of everything, and then I'm going down, up, down, up. So it's. 
My second strum is the biggest of all, where I hit everything. So that's down. I guess sometimes he goes down, 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 up, down, up, and sometimes he goes down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right? I was about to stop the video for no reason. Let's just keep going. You're with me. You're with me. We're on the same page. We're all on the same page. Right? First three chords. <clears throat> Then we have to finish up the intro. The intro goes like this. The rest of it goes. So here's what's happening there. I've got middle finger on the 12th fret of the top string, the E string, pointer finger on the 10th fret of the A string, the next one down, and then ring finger on the 12th fret of the D string, the third one string, the front, front, scrum, scrum, front, 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 scrum at the top. And then, the next couple strings can be open and it's not too bad. I'm usually, what I'm doing is when I'm strumming here, I'm aiming for those top three strings, but then every once in a while, I'll hit an extra string or two and it'll sound pretty good. Yeah, so we're gonna go that long on the first chord. One, two, three, four. Then take this whole shape here and slide it back. One, two, three, four five frets. So now it's middle finger on seven, pointer finger on five, ring finger on seven. Same strumming. Then slide it back one, two more frets. So now it's five, three, and five. And you do that one twice as long. So we've got 12th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. Then you do that whole thing again. Finally, we're at the end of the introduction. You go back to 12, you do that same chord again. Back to seven, do that same chord again. And now things are different. Your thumb needs to come up over the top, maybe get it ready towards the end of the previous chord. Bring your thumb up over the top. Your thumb is going to play the fifth fret on the top string. So before your middle finger was doing that, but now your thumb is sneaking in, playing the fifth fret by wrapping up over the top. Then your ring finger plays the seventh fret on the A string, the second string from the top. Your pointer finger is gonna bounce up a string and play the fifth fret on the A string, the second string from the top. So we've got thumb on five, ring finger on seven, pointer finger on five. You're thinking, Stuart, this is ridiculous. Your ring finger and your pointer finger are on the same string. That does no good for anyone. Well, not, not yet, but just give me a second, okay? We're gonna start our strum just like this. My pointer finger is kind of muting the D string a little bit. If you play the open D string, it actually sounds pretty good, but my pointer finger tends to mute it, and I think that sounds good, so. So I'm like that. I'm hitting a couple extra strings down. The open strings down the middle. There's no barring going on. I do my regular strumming. Then you're gonna get rid of your ring finger. And when you strum, you're gonna hammer on your ring finger right after the strum. So it goes, you hear that? It's like strum, hammer. Watch this. So it's like, My next strum, get rid of the ring finger, strum, hammer on the ring finger, and then continue with the down, up, down, up, or whatever it is. So it's. Then I do that same hammer on thing again. And then just one more little part with the strum where I keep everything there. The worst explanation of strumming anyone has ever witnessed in the history. Why well, I just had a weird feeling in my leg. What was that? It was like a it was like an electric shock. 
Elect electric lights. Electrolytes. I just had an electrolyte. Mm. Oh! oh. Let's, just, let's just move on from that. Watch. You got it, right? It's like down, 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 up, down, up. Hammer. Hammer. Regular. Sure, regular, because we all know what that means. Should we play the whole intro? Let me play the whole intro once, then we'll move on to the verse. The verse is gonna suck anyway, so let's just have fun with the intro while we're at it. hammer on we're all screwed we're all screwed i dropped my electrolyte water over here earlier remember that that was a good time and now it's time to learn the first verse first verse starts off exactly the same as the intro he was a good right so we've got that weird d we go to the weird a friend of we go to the weird c then we're gonna go on to G. We have some we have some regular chords now. Don't worry, we're done with the crazy chords for a while. You're gonna go down to here to this G. Now, here's the G I'm playing. There's a bunch of different ways to play G. For this song, we're gonna do ring finger, third fret on the top, middle finger, second fret on the A string, second string from the top, pinky on the third fret of a the B string, second string from the bottom, and then the high E. I just kind of mute it with my pinky. It does. You could honestly though, you could do this G or this G or this G. You could do any G you want. I don't even care. They're all gonna sound pretty good. So we've got G. We do our regular strumming. Dan. Okay, great. So so far that's. Sorry, I forgot what I was doing. Notice how that G is the same as this C thing up here. Just slid back to the third fret. Okay, now are you ready for, we've got a bunch of chords that we're just gonna play for two beats each. Just like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just down, 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 down. We're gonna go like this. It's gonna be D. C major seven, if you're not familiar, C major seven. Should I teach you each one of these chords? Look, just in case, here's the D. Middle finger, second fret, bottom of the string. Ring finger, third fret, next one. Pointer finger, second fret on the next one. Okay, look, that's, that's the D we're talking about. I use my thumb to mute the top string. C major seven is gonna be C, which is pointer finger on the first fret of the second to bottom string. Skip the next one. Middle finger on the second fret of the D string. Ring finger on the third fret of the A string, second from the top. Uh, I know I went in reverse order for some reason there, but that's just what I felt like doing at the time. Then get rid of your pointer finger. This is the C major seven. What a glorious creation. Then we go to a G. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this G that we were doing before, because I like it. Then we're going to an A minor, A minor, pointer finger on the first fret of the second to bottom string, ring finger, second fret on the G string, third string from the bottom, middle finger on the second fret of the D string. That's the next one up. I like to use my thumb to mute the top string for this. A minor, let's keep going. Back to the C major seven. Then we go back to G again. Then we go back to D. Don't worry, I'm gonna review this. Back to D, but for this D, it's gonna be a D over F sharp, which is where you play the classic D that we went over just a moment ago. But your, uh, what's this thing called? Your thumb comes up over the top and it plays the second fret on the top string. Listen to that. It's got this nice little low note to it now. And then we go back to A minor. That was a lot of chords. That was eight chords in a row. We're going like this. I don't, I, I maybe have a piece of paper over here, my little cheat sheet, just in case. My face looks poofy. It's too much electrolyte water. Ooh. All right, so we've got D, C major seven, G, 
A minor, C major 7, G, D over F sharp, A minor. So, you see what I'm saying, but it's just this endless stream of chords. If you're used to playing these chords, no problem. If you're not, it's going to be some work, but I will say this. If you are not used to playing these chords, this is a very good opportunity to practice switching a lot of chords. So, this is the first eight. Then, after that A minor, we go to an E major. Now, it sounds like it should be an E minor in the song, but it's not. It's an E major. When he plays it live, he does sometimes play an E minor. I don't know if he decided to change it or if it's just he flies by the, the whim of his pants. Uh, e major, top string open, middle finger, second fret on second string from the top, ring finger, second fret on third string from the top, pointer finger on the first fret of the next string, and then the rest are open. There's our E major chord. Then back to C major 7, remember that one? The C major 7, you're going to do for twice as long. This is where it gets confusing. We go E, C major 7, again. Okay, okay. Then we go back to G. Then we go back to D over F sharp. That was D with the thumb, remember that guy? We're almost done with the first verse. This is, I know, it's so many chords. I know, I know, I know, I know, guys. I know. We just did D over F sharp. Then we're gonna do a fantastic chord. We're gonna do an F major seven sharp 11. It's so much fun. Oh, it has a nine in there too. It's like an F major nine sharp 11. Thumb is gonna play the first fret on the E string. I know, a lot of thumb stuff in this song but sometimes thumb stuff is good. That's what I always say. So you've got your thumb up on the first fret of the top string. Your ring finger plays the third fret on the next one down, whatever that is, the A string, third fret on the A string. Then your pinky plays the third fret on the D string. The bottom three strings are gonna be open like that. It's a, it's a very mystical sounding chord. I suppose you could use your pointer finger and not your thumb. So you can do that if you want. I don't see any harm in it. We go F for twice as long as the other chords. One, two, three, four. Then E minor, not E major this time, E minor. Open, second fret, second fret, rest are open. Back to just two beats. And then we go to C for two beats. That was so many chords, you guys. We're gonna play. We're gonna play through the whole verse. I'm gonna call out the chords as we get to it. Are you ready? We're we're actually almost done with this song. So if you're like starting to forget who you are and 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 just ever, and and you're feeling like I am, um, we're we're almost there. Get back to that weird chord. You're like, oh, screw it. I'm not playing that chord. Get out of town. Get out of town. We've got crazy D. Crazy A minor, crazy C. That's how we're starting. Now, remember though, we can do the D7. Then you can just play a regular A minor if you want. My computer fell asleep. Is everybody okay? It hasn't done that in a long time. It must be in a bad mood. It's okay, computer. Okay, computer, Radiohead. Look. Go to a C major seven. There's no shame in that. There's a little bit of shame because it's not how the song actually goes, but you can do it if you want, and I won't know, so how could I possibly be upset? First verse all the way through. Crazy chord. Other crazy chord. Third crazy chord. Then G. Now we're gonna start moving fast. D, C major seven, G, A minor, major 7, G. D with the thumb, A minor. E major, C major, stay there. G. D with the thumb, crazy F, stay there. E minor, C. Just do that, you know, 150,000 times and you're gonna have this whole thing in no time. If you sing along, 
it kind of helps. Um, it kind of helps as well. I'm not gonna sing along because I don't know the words, and I think I'd mess up the melody. And uh, this isn't a. This isn't a. Look, this isn't a cover video. Okay, this is a lesson tutorial video, and I need you to. And 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 and. Here's what really sucks. Are you ready for the really bad news? The second verse is different from the first verse. What the heck? Pardon my language. Most of it's the same. Let's just get through this. Well, I think we can just all agree this next part is gonna be no fun at all. And was just, I'm gonna say D, A, F, G, A, B, C, D. And you're gonna go, what? So that's what it's gonna be. And we're just gonna live, let's temper our expectations. We start with the same crazy D chord that we started this whole mess with. Go to the same weird A minor. Same weird C. Same weird G. All right. Then we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go D. Regular C. D, G. Then G over F sharp. Then A minor. Then E major. Then C major and hang out there twice as long. Let's do that again. First four chords, all the crazy ones up here were exactly the same. Then when we get to the part where it starts moving faster, we go D, C, G, D over F sharp, A minor, E, C major seven, and stay there. Okay, ready for the next part? Back to G, D over F sharp. Then we do our crazy F, remember our crazy F? The first fret with the thumb, third fret, third fret, open strings the rest of the way. Play that for twice as long, then E minor, C, G, D over F sharp, D with the thumb, then F again, then E minor, C, and then it just stops suddenly. Should we play the whole second verse all the way through? No, I didn't think so. 